Circle of Six basically has two parts to it. Um, we have an open Facebook page um, where uh, in one week we got 3,000 members who basically pledged to stop sexual violence and abuse on their own campuses. We really think that, uh, that young men and women are intolerant of this kind of behavior and we wanted to engage them in a public way. And those early adopters are going to be the ones we hope will be downloading the app when it's ready in early 2012. And the app itself is based on social networking. Um, it's a circle of, you, you connect with a circle of six of your friends. And there are three situations. The situations are all designed um, to in, to help your friends engage before something happens, so before in before you're in a dangerous situation. So, if you're at a party, um, you're drinking. You and your friend maybe decided you were going home together. You're ready to go home. You can't find your friend. You send an SMS text to your circle of six with your GPS coordinates, and the nearest person will come and respond and come pick you up and or walk you home. With, with on watch, they have several options. They can, and the, the most important one is the community feature of it, because I think the young people today are such a we generation. So they can set up, um, a, for instance, they can set up, I'm going to a party on Friday night. This is where it is. These are the people that are near me at that time. If I get there and there's any problems, I hit panic and it calls 911 and those people. So that's the panic button of it. And at the same time, they might be home for the holidays be going to a ball game or be somewhere else where they need a different group of people. So they can then set that watch up where they incorporate their friends that are in that community. So you can do this as often with as many different people as you want or, or as few people. In addition, it has a button that is strictly 911. You just are somewhere where it's immediate. So you arm yourself with it on your phone. You walk through that parking garage or you walk through that uh, area and you hit that if there's an emergency. Go straight to 911 and no one else. Then there's another button that's campus police. We talk to universities and um, many of them have security systems but they can't be everywhere. So this way they can simply push the CP button and it alerts right then, gives the GPS coordinates that there's a problem. I think the important thing is getting the universities to um, coordinate an effort and, I, and give it a positive spin where that they would, uh, we can get to them in ways that they would come out with uh, initiatives on campus to engage young women, young uh, sorority groups or other women groups and put a really positive spin for the university that they are stepping right up. They're not putting their head in the sand that there's no problem, but they're facing the problem head on.